I'm really, really overjoyed to be here. <laughs> I'm very excited to see how people respond to it here, especially because there's a piece of the film that is about FAMU. So I'm excited to see how people respond. The film, you know, covers 170 years of history, but it ends up at FAMU. So that's like the last scenes are at FAMU. So um, I'm interested to, to see, you know, the audience reaction to that. you again thank you so much uh, for coming out and, and doing this it's incredible thank you thank you all for joining us this evening thank you, thank you. and I didn't see you know other filmmakers lining up to tell the story you know, it felt like if I didn't tell it who would were it not for historically black colleges and universities you know they we wouldn't be here idea that the industrial education or the doers are not thinkers. And so I don't, I want us to be careful to not subscribe to that kind of subconscious uh, stigmatizing. So when my baby gets older, she will start to hear about Florida a and University. And the reason that her dad has a PhD today is because individuals took time out to, to mentor me when they really didn't have to. They saw something in me when I didn't see anything in myself. And I don't think that's just my story. I think that's everyone in here's story. Discover more about the history of Florida A&M University at wfsu.org slash HBCU Rising. Plus, learn more about the history of black colleges and universities in the upcoming documentary film, Tell Them We Are Rising, directed by award-winning filmmaker Stanley Nelson. Tell Them We Are Rising premieres on Independent Lens on PBS and WFSU Public Media Monday, February 19th at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Funding for this program is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting as part of the Public Media Initiative American Graduate. Let's make it happen.